What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Taipans Fan TV. This round we're going to be taking on the New Zealand Breakers here at home. Um, welcome into the new year 2020, it's my first video of 2020. I've been dropping off uh, over the Christmas period and I apologise for that. We're back on track now, I've got myself a new mic if you can tell the difference. So we're going to get straight into things here. Um, Scotty Hobson's on a roll, Breakers are on a roll, five game win streak, they're coming up to Cairns. Last time they came to Cairns they had Glenn Rice Jr., um, I think you're pretty sure he still leads the league in scoring, but he didn't stick around for long. Um, RJ Hampton's back from his injury now, and you know what can I say about Cairns? We've been playing excellent basketball the last three games. Um, I haven't really been covering them much, but look, over those last three games, we've we've dropped some leads, we've gained some leads, um, and I really think that going forward into 2020, we've got to be structured, and now we're solidified in the top four. Well, not really solidified, but tied for third, I guess. So, look, this game is a big game for us. Looking over into the starting lineups, I'm predicting that RJ Hampton is going to come back into the starting lineup. Sec Henry might be out. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, Scotty Hobson, I think he'll start at the shooting guard as well with Tom Abercrombie, Finn Delaney, and Rob Lowe to round out the rest of the lineup. But for us, I think Kawhi Noy is going to come back. He's had a few games off now. There's only a little ankle injury, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be fit to go with the fitness test on game day. Um, as well as, you know, with the, with the usuals, Machado, Newville, Deng, and Oliver. My C match up this game, I think it's going to be Scotty Hobson and DJ Newville. I'm pretty sure they play a very similar style of game, a very stop start, can catch it on the outside, can shoot it from the outside, and just really make plays from the three point line inside the lane. Um, can finish either hand, can finish with a mid range jumper, three point, floater, left hand, right hand. I mean, I reckon they can just do it all, and as, as the stats can see, they're sort of rounded towards, you know, Scotty Hobson's a bit taller, he's got the six rebounds, but averaging 18, 19 points, um, you know, the average same three, four assists, shooting about the same percentages as well, nearly identical, but look, I, I think the way they play sort of puts their other team, puts their other teammates into positions where they are able to score as well like they they're able to get inside the lane and make a play as well as to score so that's why they're so dominant and I think that um, for Taipans it's a more of an upper hand for DJ because there's Scott Machado there as well so we've got two guys that can sort of do it Scotty Hobson sort of doing it on his own RJ Hampton's coming up um, if Sec Henry's going to be out then he's out but Look, I think this is going to be a key matchup for them, especially for the Breakers. Look, they're relying heavily on Scotty Hobson now this time. Um, so really, us defensively have just got to stop him. Moving on to some of the key points for the game. Look, I think we've got to take the first hit here. Um, we've got to come out and make some shots early, really start to create off the ball, um, and really run these guys around because I think they're big guys. They don't really have much left. Um, we're going to get into that a bit later. Um, in the next part, but we've won five of our nine games at home after we've always always led after the first quarter. Um, me personally, I think that we play best when we're starting to make our shots early, um, especially if Machado is setting the tone, getting guys uh, the looks they need for later on in the match for when they need it. And Machado, he can get reeling and dealing himself. You know, we've seen that he can score from the start, he can facilitate from the start. Um, I really think that he can you know, even be the MVP of the league if we make uh, the finals come the end of the season. You know, also got there, we've got to look at Jawai. Okay, we've got a big size mismatch there against Rob Lowe and Brandon Ashley, especially if he's going to be coming off the bench. Um, can get either one of those guys into foul trouble. And they also play small sometimes with Delaney at the five, even um, if, if they are lacking fouls. And, and um, even I, seem, I haven't even seen a Tia Majuk play that much. Um, he might get a run this game, you never know, but... But Joe, I can draw fouls as well as well as finish plays, and I think that he can really play an impact on this game. And also moving on to the last bit, injuries. Um, is Sec Henry going to be out, and is Kawhi Noy going to be in? That's all going to be down to game day stuff, uh, but both weigh a lot for their team. You go, Sec Henry is one of their scorers, ball handlers, um, and offensive guys with Corey Webster already gone from the team. And then Kawhi Noy, he's one of our lengthy guys that can really play defense, really knock down an outside shot. And as one of our key rotation pieces, and, and with Mirko Jarek still starting, we've won games with him, but it's, it, it can't last forever. We've got to get Kawhi Noi back. But look, we've talked about it, and here's my predictions. I think we've got the top ends by four here. Um, I reckon both teams are going to score under 100 points. It's not going to be high scoring. It's going to come down to a lot of defense, a lot of playmaking. And um, Cameron Oliver is going to have a double-double. Um, I just don't think they're going to be able to even guard Cameron Oliver on the offensive end, defensive end and above the rim, so I think that he has a really big mismatch there as well, 
But Machado is going to be doing his thing. He's going to score the ball, facilitate the ball. He's going to play a really big impact on this game of how it plays out, as he always does every single game. And I've got my prediction end score there, 97 and 93. Um, I've been sort of close on these. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with it, but I feel like I've been going pretty close. Um, but look, besides that, there's my predictions. We've talked about the game. I hope you've got your thoughts about the game. Um, we'll definitely get forward with moving into things. I really want to get some um, some new content out. Um, so thanks for <laughs> thanks if you're still watching my stuff. But um, always remember, go the Mighty Taipans. And if you're at the game, awesome, good luck. But if not, hope you're watching from home. And yeah, always remember, go the Mighty Taipans.